Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we're talking all things summer solstice. Our summer solstice comes in June 21st every year, and it's really kind of the longest day of the whole year. It is the longest hours that we have sunlight on our planet, and it is amazing. There is a lot of energy to kind of connect with on this day, and I will tell you, it's really important that you do something to kind of honor our summer solstice. I will tell you, it's kind of the cool part because our summer solstice is all about kind of like honoring our earth, honoring our sun, and really kind of taking that energy to heart. Like, what do we want to take care of and what do we want to take care of? And when you say that, it's kind of really yourself, isn't it? It's taking care of you because if you're taking care of you, then everything else will fall into place. And I will tell you, this is a great day to kind of really spend some time in the sun, go out there, kind of do your, uh, even if it's just a few minutes, it's like getting that sun on your body is going to be really important and also helps with sleep patterns as well. So it's kind of like a lot of times, um, this time of year for me gets really, really busy and I don't always get out there to honor the sun as much as I should. So this is kind of that reminder, like honor the sun, get out there in the sunlight. Um, I will tell you, this is kind of one of those days that is a great day to really do some energetic cleansing for yourself. And because um, at noon, um, we are going to have our sun just above the equator. So that is a really great day, great day to kind of like just energetically connecting to that energy, holding that position for as long as you can. Even if you're moving around, it's one of those, even if you got to move a little bit, this is a great day to kind of take some several deep breaths, connect to that energy. If you have even longer, I will suggest kind of the second one is doing a grounding meditation, something where you're kind of like connecting to mother earth, putting your feet in the dirt or the grass and kind of like just connecting with the energy. And that can be an amazing time. Just like, yes, I'm really connecting to this energy. Next, I will tell you, this is a great time to kind of really declutter your space because if you've got like some stuff going on like a whole bunch of piles of things and all the, it's like it's taking away from your time instead of adding time to your day so I will tell you kind of like release that energy and start working through some of those piles even if it's just a dedication of I'm going to spend 15 minutes a day cleaning up this pile or I'm going to spend 30 minutes a week or whatever it is whatever time that you can do it it's going to make you feel better and connecting with our sun will kind of give you a little bit of that jolt of like yes I've got the energy to take care of this so it's like yes um, one of the next things I will say is this is a great day to really cleanse your space and really like sage it out, kind of like clearing out that energy. Now, I kind of I love sage, don't get me wrong, but I also love Palo Santo. And that is going to be a great way to kind of like bring in that grounding energy because it's literally a little trunk of tree right there. But it's one of those. It also has an amazing energy of, yes, let's get this done. Yes, let's kind of clear out this old energy, this old stale energy and kind of bring it in all brand new, ready to go and really healthy and ready to move forward in this energy. And I will tell you, take some time today to like claim what is yours. What is it that's yours? And sometimes that's just our calendar. I'm going to be in charge of my calendar. I'm going to set some new healthy boundaries and I'm going to take control over my calendar. Maybe there are some things that you're going to gift to someone else. Like I've been in charge of this for way too long and now it's your turn to kind of get, be in control of this. Um, I've talked to several women in the last couple of days and I thought it was really cute that a lot of them were like, I'm going to give this to my husband or I'm going to give this to my partner. That is a great way to do that. Kind of like, yes, let them take some of that load off of you so you have a little more like relaxed time down um and that can mean like one night a week you take off and do something um even go for a walk by yourself or kind of get some time to yourself or give them a like a job this is your job now from now on this is yours and that can really like lift a lot of burdens off of you and make both of y'all grow much stronger now i will tell you kind of one of the fun parts is <laughs> Do 
to really focus on like decluttering your desk area and wherever you do your stuff, wherever that is, like wherever your lounge spot is, like clean that out because it's one of those, if you're always going there and you're like, almost like, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to look at it. It's too much. That is going to overwhelm you. So instead of going like, yes, I'm going to go bring in this great energy and clear this out. It's like, yeah bring that energy in, clean it out, organize it, or have it set into some type of purpose. This is where I'm going to look at my bills, or this is where I'm going to pay my bills, or this is where I'm going to do this. That can set the energy in that space amazingly. Now, I will tell you one of the things that I love. Now, everybody lo knows I love quartz crystals. I would put a, as large a crystal as I possibly could in that area to really amplify that energy, amplify that space, amplify the relaxation for you, the coming together, the blending of what's about to happen of like, yes, here we go into all of this. This can be a great way to kind of take care of yourself, but also kind of lay claim to what's yours. Um, I will tell you, this is a great time, like I said, to cleanse your space, cleanse your desk, and really spend some time like really kind of letting anything else go that is not serving you or let someone else take care of it. It can be really a lot during the summer, especially when you have kids at home um, or a lot of times like I know a lot of moms that have like their own business and the kids at home this summer. So that can be a really overwhelming like, oh my gosh, this is so much. Let's do some angel cards and get us a little bit deeper insight. Like what do your angels and guides want you to know about the summer solstice? What is it? What is it? So let's ask them, what is it that we require knowing? So I've got like a couple of cards. So this one is the first one, divine timing, divine timing. It is the time for you to kind of see this, um, this um, time to see this angel card reading for yourself, to see kind of what's up and kind of move into um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do next? How do I want to deal with this? And what jobs can I gift to somebody else? The second card is friendships. Really reconnecting to friends can be a great time. And sometimes that's meeting each other at the pool or inviting someone over, do something, a barbecue, something like that can just really re-enhance your energy, re-enhance your life. And connecting back to friends and family can be a great one for you to do. Divine guidance. This is the time to kind of guide yourself. What is it that is overwhelming? What is it that's over kind of over? kind of taking over the other stuff and can you give part of that responsibility to someone else it's a great time to do this and manifestation this is a great one everybody requires more uh, manifestation in their lives and kind of bringing things in but if you're so busy dealing with like putting fires out all day I've got to do this and I've got to go here and I've got to go do it it gets overwhelming so take some time for yourself and manifest some time for you so you can spend some more time manifesting things that you really want to bring into your life I thank you so much for joining me today and I know that we'll be talking again soon. Mm -hmm.